Right, this video is all about um, finding the percentage by which something has changed. Um, so sometimes that's called finding the percentage change, um, which is slightly different to um, working out a percentage and then adding it on or taking it off. Here's an example of what I mean. Okay, example one. A full bottle of water holds 600 millilitres of water. I drink some and now I have 510 millilitres left. What percentage of the bottle have I drunk? So this question is really asking us, if we start with 600 mils and we end up with 510 mils, what percentage has been lost? Okay. Now, when we talk about the percentage that is lost, we always think of the original amount as being our 100%. Okay. And what we want to know is how much has been lost, how much percentage has been taken away. So there's loads of ways you can find out what this is. Um, the first thing that I always do is I actually just draw out this little diagram here. This uh, it's, it's not even really a diagram, is it? it's just two numbers with an arrow in between. Um, and I label the first one the 100%. And then I actually just put underneath the arrow here how much has been lost. Well, it's gone down by 90 millilitres, hasn't it? Okay. And that 90 millilitres is the amount by which it's been decreased and we want to find out what percentage that is. Okay. Um, now, I mean, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can do this using a formula if you've got a calculator. Um, I'm going to stick to a non-calculator method to begin with. The non-calculator way I like to do this is I like to say, right, well, if my 100% uh, is 600 millilitres, I want to know what this is as a percentage. So let's start by working out 10%. 10% is going to be 60 millilitres. Is that the amount by which this number has changed? Is that the amount of water that I have drunk from this bottle? No, because the amount of water that I drunk was 90 millilitres. So 10% is not quite the percentage that we want. We want to get to 90%. So let's try sorry not 90 percent, 90 millilitres. Let's try 5 percent. 5 percent is half of 10 percent. So I'm going to half this number to make 30 millilitres. Now look what happens. If I add together my 10 percent and my 5 percent, 10 percent is 60, 5 percent is 30, I've got 60 plus 30 which is 90 millilitres. And that's what I was aiming for. I was aiming to work out what percentage my 90 millilitres is. And I can see here, this is 15%, which is 90 millilitres. So the amount which has been lost is 15%, like that. OK. And so if we go back to the question, which said, the full bottle of water holds 600 mils. I drink some and now I have 510 mils left. What percentage of the bottle have I drunk? I can answer that question by saying um, I have lost 90 mils of water from the bottle, which is 15%. And that's it. Okay. Now, I did mention that there was a calculator way that you could do this, and even just a little formula that you could learn. Um, so I'm just going to show you those now. Okay. Um, the formula that you can learn goes like this. Um, the change divided by the original times 100. Okay. In this case, we had 90 was lost from the bottle. The bottle started at 600 mils and went down to 510 mils. Okay, 600 was the original amount times by 100. Now, if you're really good at um, your number work, you might be able to do that without a calculator. But if you're lucky enough to have a calculator, um, you know, when you're doing your exam or wh when you're doing the exercise that you've been asked to do, um, then you can just type this on your calculator and you should get the answer minus 15%. And then minus just means it's a decrease, and the 15% tells you how much it's been decreased by. Okay, let's have a look at a second question now, a second example. Um, 
and once again we'll do it in two different ways okay this one says example two a jacket is reduced in price here is the sticker to be placed on the jacket and there's a picture of a sticker it says sale what percentage is going to be taken off was 55 pounds now 38.50 what percentage should go in the box there okay so let's have a look at this problem let's try and put it in the familiar way we have a a jacket which was 55 pounds and it's now gone down to 38 pounds 50 so I call that one my 100% and how much has it gone down by? Well here you need to do a subtraction, don't you? you need to work out what the difference is between these two um, I can take 15 pounds off there 16 pounds 50 has been taken off in the sale Okay. Um, so what we need to do is work out what that 16 pounds 50 is um, as a percentage of 55 so let's start again with this statement um, our 100 percent is 55 pounds work out some easy ones 10 percent is 5 pounds 50 um, and what do we need to do well we need to look at this number here and see if we can make it up to 16 pounds 50 somehow well let's have another one of those and another one of those okay and if you add up these three in the box okay that turns out that that's 30 percent which is now we add these up 0 0 0 is 0 5 and 5 and 5 makes 15 5 and 5 and 5 makes 15 plus the 1 makes 16 50 so you can see um, you know with a non-calculator question this is going to be the sort of standard at which you can have to operate you can have to um, just work out very simple percentages but now we can see we've made the 16 pounds 50 so that means that we have taken off 30 percent in the sale that 16 pounds 50 is worth 30 percent of the original so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the sticker and I'm actually going to fill in 30 percent off and that would be the answer to that question once again if you do have a calculator you might like to use the formula the formula remember is change divided by original times a hundred okay the change in the price here was sixteen pounds fifty the original was fifty five times in by a hundred and again if you type that on your calculator you should get minus thirty percent okay one last example now okay and this time um, we have a footpath it's eighty centimeters wide uh, the law says it must be at least one, one meter fifty wide um, therefore when the council have to come along and widen the footpath um, what percentage does it need to be widened by so we're going to start with this eighty centimeters and it's going to go up to one meter fifty notice how I've change the units into centimeters there okay um, and what we've got to do now is we've got to take our hundred percent we've got to figure out how much has been added on well the amount that's been added on is 70 70 centimeters needs to be added on uh, to make this footpath the correct width so I guess what we're asking is what percentage is this 70 uh, of the 80 well let's start whoops it's not quite right 80 is a hundred percent let's start by working out what 10 percent is as usual because that's the easiest one to do divide by 10 to find your 10 percent okay um, now what do we think here are we going to be able to make up uh, up to 70 using these eight well let's try okay how many of those will I need well if I had if I had eight of those that would make 64 like that okay so I know that 80 percent of my number is going to be 64 but I want to make 70 centimeters so I need a bit more on here don't I I need to add on another six units well that's not an easy one to do so let's try going down to um, five percent let's try adding on a five percent what's a five percent that's another four that takes us up to 68 
and a 2.5% is going to take us up to 70. Let's just check that. If we add on the 80% and the 4, uh, which is 5%, and the 2.5% there, let's just check. Does that make what I'm looking for? Remember, I'm looking to make this 70 centimeters, and I want to write it as a percentage. So I've got these percentages here, and I'm trying to just add them up and just check that I get to 70. 64, 68, 70 centimeters is actually worth 87.5%. Okay, this is a, a really tough one really to do without a calculator, probably a little bit harder than you'd be asked at GCSE. Um, but there's no reason you couldn't be asked this at GCSE. So we can see that that 70 centimetres that we've added on when we're widening the footpath is actually worth 87.5% of the original amount. And so that is the change, isn't it? So the answer to the question, by what percentage does it need to be increased? It needs to be increased by 87.5%. Okay. Um, probably you would use a calculator for this one, so let's just make sure that we can use the uh, calculator method. With a calculator, you would be writing in the change divided by the original times 100. Okay, the change in this case was 70, the original amount was 80, and if you times that by 100, you should get 87.5%. Okay, um, there are loads and loads and loads of different ways that you can answer questions like this. Um, so, you know, if you've got a different way that works, then by all means use it. Um, but I hope that that's given you a little bit of a helping hint.